because important things go in a case. You got a skull for your brain, a plastic sleeve for your comb, and a wallet for your money. Everything has its place, and there is a place for everything. But do you remember George Costanza and his giant wallet? He kept everything in there. And to be perfectly honest, up until a couple years ago, I actually wasn't any better. I had this Umi wallet, which is hardly thin. And then for some inexplicable reason, I decided to upgrade to an even larger wallet from Fossil. And you can see how both of these are nowhere near thin. And they had so many pockets because I felt compelled to carry around all the loyalty cards and all the punch cards and all the credit cards with me all the time. But why? So a couple of years ago, I was sent this extra slim wallet from a company called Alette. And as you can see, it is significantly skinnier than my old fossil wallet. It's maybe about a third of the thickness. Well, the company has been so generous as to provide me with some more stuff to check out. So let's have a look. So Alette actually sent me a trio of products. So I'll go over them one at a time. Toss this away. So the first thing here is what they call the uh, Ultra Slim ID wallet. So it has the, the nylon outside instead of the leather, the one that I reviewed a couple of years ago. And I'll put the link in one of the I cards over here. Um, that one was made with the leather on the outside and the nylon on the inside. This is nylon throughout, so it's a little bit less expensive. You also notice that the packaging is different. It used to come each individual one in its own like box. So what they've done is they've minimalized the packaging too, which doesn't detract from the product, but reduces their cost and reduces our environmental impact in getting a wallet, something like this. Uh, on the back here, it says that this is a minimalist wallet with ID pocket durable water resistant nylon, capacity of plus minus 10 cards, cash and more. It measures four and one eighth inches by three and three eighth inches, handcrafted in California with locally and globally sourced materials. So I'll just take all of this out, get this out of the way. And unlike the wallet that I reviewed a couple years ago, this one has the ID window, which is great if you want to have a card like your driver's license or something that's easily displayed. And then there were kind of, including the card window, there were two vertical slots on either side, unlike the sport wallet that I had that had the, the side loading pockets. These, side load, these sides don't actually open up. It's just the vertical wallets there. And then you get two compartments here for your cash. Okay, so for example, a Starbucks card here. You want to display it in the window. That's how it would look like so. And then yeah, you know, there's a gift card that I have. And it goes like that. And as you can see, it is super skinny. So you can kind of see that the stitching is okay. It's coming apart a little bit here, but it's not too bad. So that's card uh, wallet number one. Second item here, it has the leather on the outside and the nylon on the inside, like the RFID protecting wallet that I reviewed a couple years ago, except they say that this is a slightly new design and they're calling it the Slim Sport Wallet with durable Nappa leather and nylon. So open this up and it has the same description stuff on the inside there. I'll take that out. And uh, just like the Sport Wallet that I reviewed a couple years ago, the card slots here are horizontal. I, don't, I do notice that like the front flap here, it feels a little bit thicker than before, which is nice. And you also notice I already put the third product in here. This is the Alette Mini Pen. So it's a little screw thing here. And then you get this tiny, tiny little pen that you can carry around with you actually in your wallet, super skinny. And there's actually the two little slots at the top there and it doesn't actually add much thickness to the wallet at all, as you can see there. And the cards can load into the sides. Let me grab a couple of cards from here again. So this was something that took a little getting used to, having to put the cards sideways instead of uh, from the top, but I got used to that pretty quickly. And that makes for a very clean appearance. Uh, and there is only the one cache 
pocket on top, unlike the ID wallet. And uh, that's the updated Slim Sport Wallet with the mini pen as an optional accessory. But when it comes to school backpacks, it's almost like the exact opposite is true. Before Addy started preschool last year, we got her this cute little Totoro backpack from the Richmond Night Market. But it's small and furry and not at all waterproof that it wasn't especially practical. So this year, we've been fortunate enough to be sent this new high-vis backpack from the fine folks at Lil Worker Safety Gear. It's definitely larger, more functional, and a whole lot safer too. Let's take a closer look. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Lil Worker Safety Gear brand, it's a company that's based out of Vancouver Island, founded by a man named, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, James Flaweth. Uh, and he appeared on Dragon's Den some time ago to promote the company and try to get funding for it. Uh, he produces a number of this like high vis, he calls it high visibility clothing that's inspired by uh, worker safety gear. So they have vests and jackets and tops. And one of the newest products that he has in the lineup is this high vis backpack designed for children, obviously. That's why it's called Little Worker Safety Gear. So it comes in a couple of different colors. This is the, the pink version here. And you can see this high quality, high vis material kind of throughout. So it helps to keep the children safe when they're out and about going to and from school or if they're coming back from afternoon activities or whatever. They have all of this reflective material, 3M Scotch light reflective material and the little worker safety gear branding there. But it also is a very functional school backpack. You get the mesh pockets on the sides for their water bottles and such. Obviously I haven't cut the tag here, but it says little worker safety gear because growing up is tough work. You can find more information at littleworkersafety.com. Prevent accidents, easily see your child at all times. And this is called the Viz Pack with bright high contrast colors, 3M Scotch Light reflective material, and it is heavy duty water resistant material. So there is a front pocket here. So you can see the front pocket there. And then there is a smaller kind of a slightly padded pocket on top which I think would be perfect for carrying on a cell phone or something like that again to keep the children safe and then there is an upper front compartment here that reaches uh, yeah it reaches pretty much to the bottom of where this pocket is so it's black on the inside as well fit more stuff there and then there is the main compartment and yes these are high quality YKK zippers goes down like so and then you can see the black inside there that is the upper uh, pocket as you can see it from up here and as is the case with so many backpacks these days, there is, it might be hard to see in the camera there, but there is a dedicated pocket in the main compartment here for kids to be able to put their laptops or tablets, what have you. It's not just us grown-ups that have all this tech gear now. A lot of children need them too, and increasingly at a young age. So you need to make sure that you have a backpack that suits that purpose. So a total of one, two, three main compartments as well as the small pocket on top and the two pockets on the sides there and the base is flat-ish so uh, with books and stuff loaded up you should be able to stand that up pretty well and you can kind of get a sense of proportions next to me it's probably big enough for even an adult like me to carry around if I wanted to carry around you know stuff around the day and being highly visible this is obviously geared more towards children it might be a little bit big for my preschooler, but I imagine it's perfect for like an elementary school age child who wants to have a backpack that's a little bit different than everyone else. And especially if they're into any kind of trades, uh, if, they're, if they enjoy construction, engineering and things like that, and they want to have that kind of look, it's a great little backpack. Well, not so little, uh, but you can find more information at littleworkersafety.com. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video there. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe. And remember, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Stay well, my friends. Good guitar, first lesson free. Huh. Huh.